Hello dear friends, this is Yule Humphreys. I'm glad to be with you and share another word with you today from the Holy Word of God. I want to, I want to t speak to you on just a five or ten minute message on the fact that there is a name above every name. A name above every name. Oh, we need, we need to see that truth and recognize that this name is above every name. And that's the name of Jesus Christ. We need to see that over in the book of Acts in the fourth chapter, verse 12. It says, There is no other name under heaven given among men whereby you must be saved except the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen, there is no other name under heaven given among men. No other name. No other name. There's not two or three names that will get you to heaven. Just one name. There are not two or three ways to go to heaven. Just one way. And that way is through Jesus Christ. Now the reason for that is that he was the only one that came down here from heaven. He was God and he became a man. Took it for himself the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And he went on to the cross to bear our sins. The only one that ever bore our sins and paid for them on that cross was Jesus. He came out of the tomb the third day. The only one that rose from the grave as the leader of religions today. He is the only one that came out of the grave and he's alive. So he's the only one. His, that name is a, is a name above every name. Over in the book of Romans in the 10th chapter it says this, If you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. So you need to confess the fact that you believe in Jesus and that you believe him in your heart, that he died for you and rose again, and you shall be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and then with the mouth confession is made unto salvation that he has been saved. For the scripture says, Whosoever believes in him shall never be ashamed. You'll never be ashamed when you believe in Jesus. Dear friend, believe in him right now with all your heart. I'm talking to many Christians, I pray, around the world. And I'm praying that you believe in Jesus. Whatever the cost, be willing to go on with Him. Stay with Him. Hold on to Him, for He's holding you. Stand beside Him. He's standing by you. And believe, because He's there, believing in you. And so He's your strength right now, dear friend. He loves you very much. He knows where you are, and He's there with you. Hold on, because He's holding you. The Bible says then, For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is, is uh, rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved forever. So you need to believe that Jesus died for you and rose again, and that he's coming back, and I want you to be ready for him. And you can do that by believing in Him and trusting Him as your Lord and Savior. And He'll come in. He'll send the Holy Spirit into your life. And you'll be changed and you become a Christian. Hallelujah. He'll give you a new heart. So God bless you. Pray this brief prayer. Whosoever shall call the name of the Lord. I want you to pray this brief prayer with me if you need to do it. Say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me. I believe he rose again. I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me live for you. Amen and amen. Pray a prayer like that and mean it, and the Lord will save you, and you'll have a name written in heaven. And you need to find your good church and serve the Lord and worship God with his people. The Bible teaches us these things are true. Over in Philippians, the second chapter, we read something else about his name. So great, so great, so great a name. That changes lives and changes people. The Bible says that in verse 9, God has highly exalted Jesus and given him a name above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. And things in heaven and things on earth and things under the earth. The day is coming when every knee will bow before the Lord Jesus. And... Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. It will be too late for those who did not confess him down here. You need to do that now. But there, to the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God can save anybody. 
he can save the finest or nicest of people. I've had him. I've had people come to me that were just good neighbors and good people, and they said, "I'm a sinner and I'm trusting Jesus." Praise God, and they were saved. And then I've seen people, the worst kind of people. I was preaching not too many about uh, oh, a few years ago. I was preaching down at the uh, uh, rescue mission to the homeless. And there were a group of people there listening. And when I finished my message, I said, Now, if you want to accept Christ, come up, for God loves you very much. And this guy walked up to me, and he was about 65 years of age. He walked up to me, and he, he, I could tell he had been out there in the night, and he needed to shave, and he, he was just looking so sad and forlorn. And, and he said to me, Preacher, you tell me God loves me? And I said, Yes, He loves you. Well, he said, I just got out of prison a few months ago. He said, I killed two men. And I just got out of prison. Been in there for years. And he said, I hate the world and I hate everything in it. You think he loves me? I said, he does love you. I said, he'll love you and he'll save you if you'll trust him. And he said, well, I'd like to believe that. I said, believe it. Just call on him and ask him. He said, I don't know how to pray. I said, well, kneel down here with me. And he kneeled down there with me. And uh, I said, just say, Lord, help me. And he said, and it paused a while pretty soon, he said, Lord, help me. And when he did, tears began to fall down his cheek. I'll never forget it. I believe that man was saved by the grace of God. And so, praise God, whether you've come out, whatever you've been through, or you've come out of a neighborhood that's nice and you've lived a good, clean life, you need Jesus. Get right with God. If you come out of the pit out there in the darkest alleys, come on in. The Lord has a place for you. He loves you too. And you can be saved by the grace of God. There is no other name like the name of Jesus. No other name. Take the name of Jesus with you, child of sorrow and of woe. It will joy and comfort give you. Take it then wherever you go. Precious name. Oh, how sweet, hope of earth and joy of heaven. Precious name, oh, how sweet, hope of earth and joy of heaven. Take the name of Jesus with you as a shield from every snare. It will help and when temptations come against you, breathe that holy name in prayer. Oh, precious name, oh, how sweet, hope of earth and joy of heaven. Precious name, oh, how sweet, hope of earth and joy of heaven. Praise God, the Lord loves you very much. Know that, walk by faith, trust in Him, and He will bless your life. Amen and amen.